everyone, welcome to the final episode of The Walking Dead, the final season. Um, this will be the end of this franchise. At least as far as I'm aware, there aren't any other installments uh, already released or in the works. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments, because I'm completely unaware then. Uh, let me just yawn. Yep, that's about right, and let's start. Take us back. That's very ominous. jump. You got this. I got this. I got this. AJ, what do we do when we're scared? We push through it. We don't let it take over. No, we don't.
Sorry about your tongue. You have no idea how happy I am to see you right now. Get the fuck off of me! Oh god. Help her! Are you okay? Yeah. My ass is a little singed, but I'm good. I can't believe that works. Lou. What happened to Minnie? I don't know. I lost track after the explosion. Clem! Walkers than I can count. That explosion drew them right to us. Stay cool. We knew this would happen. We just have to get off this beach. Look! We brought the cart around. Ruby! Willie! Come on! We're getting out of here! There's no end of these little shit! Put them down! You're shitting. side. Damn right. AJ, go with him. No, I'm staying with you. Thanks, kiddo.
Holy crap. I thought he was her ear. Clementine! What? Fuck you! Fuck you then. have to squeeze through there. We don't know where it goes. Well, we do know there's walkers in the other direction. But... Move it, dummy! I saw his eyes when he did it. I saw the bloodlust in them. Fuck what you! you Nothing. Go. Oh my god, who the fuck cares? We're safe, but not for long. Damn it. It's so dark in here. We can't move forward without a way to see. I'll figure something out. in our room. Just have to get home first. Okay. Okay. Need some way to start a fire. AJ can play with it. No way we're swimming through that. Why not? Hmm. We need some way to start a fire. Burn. Am I supposed to climb this or? Perfect. 
Flint. All right. Hey, good. Look, there's another tunnel over there. It's too far. Well, we just gotta... gotta find something to help us cross. The walkers are getting closer. Don't worry. We'll be home before you know it. I ain't that out of here. It would drift down the river and get caught in the rocks. Could work as a bridge. Okay, we just need to go across one by one, and then we'll move the rocks out of the way. And then I'll take. James, do you want to die? Do you want to die? Because I have no issues with killing you, you idiot, dumbass motherfucker. Which way do we go? Ten, do you see a light down any of these tunnels? What? You brought this on yourself. Oh! Okay, we're done. But it's not too late. Let go! For him, at least. <laughs> Follow us and I sprain your ankle. Follow us after that, I break your leg. I won't let you take him. I won't let you make him a monster. Not any further. Ouch! You're coming with me. What happened to not wishing anyone harm? It has its limits. You fell. Good boy. I'll kill you before I leave her. Good. You did this. So? You made him this way. So? Empty an entire clip into that woman's head! It was only half a clip. Is this what you wanted? A boy who only sees an answer at the end of a barrel! Look at me! And tell me this is what you wanted! She deserved to die, and you know it! By his hand? In that way? I couldn't I shoot her! Do if it remains unchecked! Believe me, you don't want to see it with him! You don't get to tell me how to raise him. I, 
I like you. What? I liked killing you. Buddy, it's not a matter of liking. Strong. I don't care if it was murder. I don't care if it was anything. It felt good. Best feeling I've had in a long time. Alvin Jr., that is not what I taught you. Not about how you feel, how you treat people, how you think. I'm teaching myself now. The wrong lessons. Says you. I taught you killing Marlin was the right thing to do. I never said anything about finding joy in it. AJ, you can't really believe that. Please, think about what you're saying. Stay out of this or I swear I'll claw your fucking eyes Neither out. Neither of you are listening. Anyone that wants to hurt us should be dead. And I'm not sorry about it. And I'm not going to feel bad about it. AJ, you say you didn't teach me this when you did. You always said surviving was the most important thing. And it is. Be strong. Be brave. If something wants to hurt us, shoot it right in the head. Well, if they can kill us, yeah. Which Lily would have done. It made us safe. I agree. There's nothing wrong with liking that. I can't listen to this. Fine. Go you away. Change him. Do it then. Talk to him. expect me to get it you can't tell me to stop when you know it just confuses me I know this world is hard for us for you especially and killing it's almost unavoidable these days yes having to do it having to let you do it we've learned we have to live with it but you can't ever like it I should have said I liked it. Maybe I don't know the right words for what I feel. Aren't you glad Lily's dead? You just said she deserved it. You must be glad I killed her. It's... It's complicated. Because? Because. Because why? you to shoot her she was a threat and yes i'm glad that threat's gone that's but... what i've been saying but you kept going when she was down you kept going even when you knew it was too far that's different you weren't happy firing that gun you were angry angrier than i've ever seen Hear me, AJ. You can't talk like this about killing anyone. Even Lily. I've heard enough. It's obvious you can't teach him. Shut the fuck up! understand who we are I understand you I've seen your kind the world is full of you and you're full of shit you. all you know is violence death he could live a peaceful life but what as a walker let him 
might seem hard to believe, AJ. I know it does, but listen to me. No one has to die anymore. Not humans, not walkers. James, this philosophy of yours? This philosophy is what has kept me human. You're just a fucking crazy yeah, people. It, it takes more than words. You can't just talk people into being peaceful. You think I don't want a life like that for AJ, for myself? God, I'd love to live in a world where I didn't have to worry about killing or dying. But that's just not how things fucking work. Not yet. And what you're doing now isn't going to change that. Honestly, this is a necessary drama. Fuck off! Yeah. What? You wanna fight? Let's fight! I... Maybe. Clem? Yeah? What is it? He doesn't get it. Not like we do. Not like I do. I know, the guy's a lunatic. Let me help you, Clem. Trust me to tell which people are bad. That I won't ever use my gun because I like it. But only to keep our friends safe. Please, you can trust me to decide when it's right. I don't think you're ready. I'm sorry, AJ. You're just not ready for that. You don't trust me? I can't trust you to make those calls. You can't or you won't? Can't or won't? Which one? I've raised you since you were born, AJ. And it looks like I have a long way to go. <sighs> okay. How old is he? Goodness gracious. Feel that? Yeah, that's the way out. <sighs> Go. I'll make sure you won't be followed. Thank you. Be safe. Go be a walker, dude. Go be a walker and see if I give a shit. My approval above all else. Confidence in himself. Coast is clear. Well, he's a child! If the shore is that way. Even in this world where everybody has to grow up faster, he's still a child. He's not even close to being a teenager mentally. Even if, you know, the circumstances force um a faster a sim was maturity the third. huh what do you mean third what the day after aj killed marlon you already know violin and i voted for you to stay uh-huh a sim was the third vote wait that means omar voted us out and ruby uh yeah 
What made you think of that? Asim said you knew how to survive. He could just tell the school would be safer with you there. I voted for you because I liked you. But his reason? It was better. I just... I just thought you should know. Asim was right. We were safer. We were more scared than we let on when you met us. You made that go away. As bad as Marlin was, he still saved me and AJ. And you nursed me back to health. We owed you for that. Maybe, but even so. If Marlin was still in charge, we'd be taken away to wherever. Or dead. Yeah. Instead, we fought back. Because you showed us how. We weren't safe with Marlin. Even in his safe zone. We were just... Hiding. Huh? Violet! Violet! You made it. You're all alive. Did everyone else escape? Yeah, they're okay. They took the cart and headed back to the school. We're safe, Clem. All we gotta do now is find our way home. Any idea which way that is? I know an old bridge near here. If we cross it, we won't be too far from the school. Well, we were looking for you guys, and I... I thought you might be... gone for good. Oh. Shit. I was trying to figure out what I'd do if you were gone. And I realized how goddamn stupid I was about Minnie. For a whole fucking year. I was so wrapped up in losing her and Sophie, I pushed away everyone who tried to care about me. Marlon, Brody, Lewis, even you and AJ, I, I, I tried my damnedest not to care about either of you. And I still couldn't tell you why. I know where you're coming from. After losing so many people, sometimes it's easier to keep everyone at arm's length. And then you wonder why you fight so hard to stay alive. I don't wonder anymore. Jesus, everything's so different now. Me, us, the school. I remember how Marlon described it, and what we were gonna turn Erickson into. It's not the way any of us pictured it. How did you picture it? I guess I couldn't. I just listened to what Marlin said. How it would be a home. A real one, but I couldn't really wrap my head around it. My family lived in a trailer. Mm, what about you? Where'd you live? I lived in a house with my mom and dad. Fence around it, big backyard. What was your favorite part of the house? I had a treehouse in the backyard. I used to take my walkie-talkie up there and play for hours. I'd pretend it was a ship and I was the pirate captain. Or it was an igloo and I was a hunter. <laughs> or a castle and I was a princess. Really? 
Like with frilly dresses and a tiara? Yeah, but also a sword. A warrior princess. Yeah, obviously. The treehouse kept me alive when all this started. It's where I hid. <sighs> you know, Erickson can still be the home Marlin promised. As soon as we get back, we'll start rebuilding. Hmm. It'll be a lot of work, but you're right. It is worth it. Hell, we could even put in a treehouse. We've already got a bell tower. Okay, we'll build a bell tower house. Perfect. After all that's happened, it's still hard to imagine. I mean, we fought for it. Defended it. It should feel more like home than ever, but it doesn't. You know what the problem is? That stupid fucking name, Erickson. You want to rename it? <laughs> yeah. Fuck that guy. Okay. We should name it something cool. Threatening, but not like scary. Something that makes assholes go, I should stay away. But not like blood murder night house. You name it. It was your idea. Texas. We're calling it Texas. You can't just name it Texas. Fine. Texas too. I like her. <laughs> I want to help you build our school. You will attend. We all will. We can start as soon as we get back. Let's get home to Texas too. Texas too is like titty. Ha <laughs> ha. Get it? Anyways. Why do the music change? Okay, just take your time and keep moving forward. It's far. Really far. Should be able to jump it. It's not that far. Yeah, I think we can. We just gotta be careful not to land too hard. Person again. Stop. I'm gonna go be with mom and dad and Sophie together. Ten. Look at me. I know that look. 
looks like her. But your sister is gone. I'm... All right, bitch. Don't you fucking speak to him! Any of you! That bridge is gonna collapse. You just know it. Please? This is so fucking dumb. Please, Mitty, stop. He needs to be with his family. Don't do this. Don't worry, Ten. She can try to stop me. But I am not going anywhere without you. Tonight. You already you went without soon. him, you fucking dumb broad. Good job. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. She's the one that's doing the gunshots, and yet those things are coming for me. Which I haven't done any noise. Because Telltale! Telltale! Duh. The boys across the gap. Watch out for the walkers. You 
Got bit.
Come on. We can't stay here. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep moving. Keep moving forward. Forward. Thinking about it, AJ. There's nothing we can do. There's gotta be something. We have to focus on getting back. Keep moving forward. James is boring. It's empty now. We'll be safe in there. Run! Or the Run equivalent. Now.
You did it. Now what? You need to find a way out of here. We can climb up there. The monsters can't reach us up there. Let's go. Easy climb. Come on. Please. Try. <laughs> You can't give up! You can't give up! I need you! I need you. You don't need me. Not anymore. Look what you did. All by yourself. Junior, you'll always be goofball to me. Hey, look at me. Hey, Jane, please. You're such a cute. 
Trudy. How did I get so lucky? Gotcha. Please, don't, don't be silly right now. Not right now. Please, I just wanted to see you smile. One last time. Don't say that. Please. Don't say that. I need to make sure you remember. Remember what? The rules. What's number one? Never... Never go alone. So... So I can't leave. Not without you. AJ. It's your rule. He won't be alone. Not for long. Get back to the school. I don't know how. Sure you do. One of the first things I ever taught you. You need to make sure they can't smell you, so... <clears throat> Grab that axe. Walker just waiting to be gutted. You can use that axe to open it up. Cover yourself in Walker guts. I know how to do it, Glenn. I know you do. Next rule. What do we do when the monsters come? Um, AJ. Shoot them in the head. Got any more ammo? There isn't any more. <sighs> okay, then. Fuck. And the last rule. I want to stay with you. I know what'll happen. And I don't care. I don't want to go. I just want to sit next to you and... stay. Like that monster couple from the train station. Even if someone kills us later, we'll just sit for a really long time. Please. Oh, sorry, kid. But no. I have a job for you. I need you to get back to your room. I need you to sleep in your bed and have friends and grow tall. Taller than I ever was, I hope. I need you to live, AJ. For me. That's your job now. Okay, Clem. That's my job. Last rule. No. What do we do if I get bit? <laughs> Are you gonna make me say it? <laughs>
DJ. I'm coming. <laughs> His name's Alvin Jr. Just take a kid! It's me, Clem. Ha <laughs> 
Okay, now, where to? Can't go back to Richmond. This whole area is a war zone. Gotta... Go? Yeah, we have to go, AJ. This place, we can't stay here. It's not safe. But it's okay, we're survivors. First rule of survival is never go alone. Never go alone. Clem. <laughs> yeah, that's right. AJ. I've really missed you... so much. I know where we'll go. We'll go find ourselves a new home... together. And I'll never leave you again. Fuck you, fish. Ugh, fucking shit. Come on. Oh. Uh, I'm 
give up. It's okay, I would too. You like me now? <laughs> yeah, you like me. And I like you too. All right, girl. I'm gonna go put this beer away. Stay here and keep watch. Hey there. I know, I know. Tin? Hey, Jay. Hey. Everyone thought you died because you know, you're you. What the fuck? No, I'm okay. Good. I'm sorry about Violet. Sorry I didn't listen to you or Clint. I'm sorry. I don't know why I mess up all the time. I'm just... I thought a lot about it. I felt a lot of ways about it. Then I decided to forgive you. I was worried you would be angry. I was scared because, you know, you're you. It's... Probably because of all the trauma that's on you. Clem told me. We just have to find a doctor to fix you. I don't think we'll ever find a doctor. I think they're all gone. So I'm just going to mess up all the time? Probably forever. Yeah. Oh, hey. I found this way down the river. Sorry it's so wet. I figured you would want it back. Yeah, I do. You should wear it. Don't. Nah, my hair's too big on my head. Don't you wear it. AJ? Why did it take you so long to come back? At first... I was ashamed, so I followed the river for a long time, just thinking about Minnie, and... Yeah? I found their bodies. I saw what the walkers did to them. They were just bones and stuff. Meat. I could still tell who they were. That's really sad. Kind of. Kind of? No, I know it's sad now. I just... I wasn't sad then. Okay. Do you know what naive means? No, Clem never taught me that one. Do you remember that drawing I made for you the night Brody died? 
with the house and the walkers and my sisters and me. Mm -hmm. I remember. You said you sometimes drew your sisters like the walkers left them instead. We put it on the wall in our room. You drew me in. And Clem. Naive means you think a certain way because you don't know the way it really is. When I saw Minnie's body for real, how the walkers left her, I realized those drawings were stupid. That house will never be real. I'll never meet my sisters again. The only thing real is when we're alive. I don't think I really know anything about the world, AJ. I think you do. Can, can you teach me to be like you instead? <laughs> the way I think just gets people in trouble. Okay. Everything I know, I'll tell you about it. The first rule is never go alone. Just coming to check on you. Dinner soon. Tennessee? Uh, mm, thank God. Hey, Ruby. We gotta get you home. I swear. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I bet. You coming with? Whoa. You found it? How did you... Tended. You guys go. I'll catch up. I'll be okay. Let's go home. Let's go home.
Ruby's the only what girl doing, now. Goofball? And Clem. Whoa. <laughs> Easy there. You're out of bed. You're walking. And, and you have wood arm legs. Crutches. 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 I found your hat. Well, Tim found it and gave it back to me. It was in the river and it's all wet now. It's definitely seen better days. You know what? You keep it if you want it. No. No. I'll put it in our room. I have a surprise for you, too. Come with me. I want to show you something. So, what do you think? It's... it's for me? Yep, Willie helped me put it together. Come on, let me push you. Best Clem. She is. It's gonna get cold. Come on, let's go eat. We're coming. Idiot. Hey, Tim, wanna practice? 
I can show you how to use the gun. Okay. So that's where you put the bullets. When you shoot one bullet, it pushes another one up into the chamber. You know you're supposed to shoot them in the head? Uh, yeah. I know that much. Okay, good. Just making sure. Well, I'm getting tired, kiddo. Mind talking with me before I turn in? Sure. Gotcha. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I stare at it too. If it was just you and me alone out there, and I was like this, I don't know if I'd make it two weeks. I'm gonna need these to go anywhere, and if we ever had to run... It wouldn't be pretty. It's okay. I'll make you a new foot. Oh yeah? There must be a foot-making book somewhere. I'll ask Willie. Okay. Find me the foot book. There are prosthetics. I don't know. Um. I mean, I hope. Right? We can only hope. All this. It's worth it. All those times you would ask me if we'd find a home. All I could ever tell you was... We'll see, and your face would fall every single time. It's better than saying yes and lying to me. And that's what I told myself. But you want to know something I didn't tell you? I never had a plan. I never knew where we were going. I never knew anything. I just fought and fought and fought and hoped you didn't notice. Hoped we'd find something before you did. Did I do a good job? Of course you did. What are you... Are you crazy? <laughs> Maybe a little. A lot more than a little. When we were in the barn, you didn't listen to me. And if you had... I'd be dead. I shouldn't have said you weren't ready back in the cave you showed me how wrong I was no you'll have to be strong for the both of us you made it so I can so thank you for everything you're welcome for everything Until the bridge, 
uh, sequence. And he's still shit. But I'll elaborate later. Once we're back on the menu screen. Okay, okay. In you go. Ready to rock? So, review for this particular episode. Um, everything from the bridge up to the very end sucks. I don't have a problem with Clam being bit. I don't have a problem with Clam dying. I don't have a problem with Clam being amputated. What I do have a problem with is... How long, number one, how long it took for the amputation to happen? Because it doesn't seem believable that she would survive that. And when I mean that, I mean two things. Well, the infection, per se of, you know, turning her into a walker. But also, the lack of, of sterilization, the, the risk of that thing just, you know, becoming infected and, and, you know, causing your death by the amputation itself, because it was in the middle of a barn, completely surrounded by walkers. Like, she could have, she would probably bleed to death and, and, and all that. Um, so, it's not about what was, what, like, let's say, 
Clem's outcome, let's put it that way, but the way that it was written, the way that it was executed. Um, the bridge scene, so we have Minnie, which is a character that can't possibly exist. And, and I'll explain why. You have a character that, oh, I want a better life for me and my friends, but because of it, I'll also kill my sister and I'll never try to recruit my ex-girlfriend or my brother, which I love so very much, which is why I'll ask uh, so-and-so if they're safe because I'm really concerned, but still I don't really care that much where I ask my captors or my new faction to get my family, which is the brother, um, uh, here with me. Um, and then when Clementine uh, tells Minnie that uh, Tennessee uh, forgives Minnie for what she did, she still doesn't have any sort of change of heart. She just tricks Clem into becoming uh, or into getting um, uh, trapped, basically. And in every chance she got, she always chose the faction over her friends slash family. Um, and it just doesn't make sense. Are you concerned? Are you not concerned? And then the whole thing with the with the Ord, number one, where the fuck do all those come from? Considering that a bunch of them were already being, sorry, had already been led by James, which ended up with a bunch of them being dead. Well, dead twice, I guess, because they aren't dead. Um, like it just doesn't make sense. Like and. And the and that kid was already bit there like she had and she was basically I believe kind of like nom nommed on by a bunch of walkers but she still managed to get on her feet and walk amongst them which is fine and then she's just doing a lot of noise with a gun and they all ignore her and they just come for for clam and uh, the other kids which haven't done any noise whatsoever. So I really can't justify the way that the episode is written and well executed or animated or, or you know put together since that sequence. Um, the whole thing with James was excruciatingly dumb, like fucking stupid. Um, and then, you know, where you have this chance, well, well, the good choice is to have um, AJ feel confident that he can make the right choice, being that the right choice is to shoot Tennessee, which would let Violet live. That, it, that just does not make sense at all. And as much as I love Violet as a character, like, she was my favorite character next to Clem. Um, I still, like, I played this blindly, but if I didn't, I would always choose to not shoot. Or, or in this case, to not uh, trust AJ. Uh, the final sequence is where we control AJ. It made sense for the barn. Um... I don't know, chapter or, or whatever you want to call it. But the aftermath, I didn't like it. It just, it's just an ending that, excuse me, drags on way too long. Way too long. And I didn't appreciate also when Clam doesn't want her hat, her hat back. Because that is the only thing that she got from her dad. The only thing. And... I... I have a hard 
time accepting that canon wise um now overall like this season the f the the best season is for me is still the first one this is the second best and there have been episodes where it's been amazing and i'm really into it and there are episodes like this one the final one where i'm just oh god this is just absolutely horrendous so this season in particular is like a mixed bag of good things with shit things but i still am of the opinion that season two was the worst in terms of well the way that it was written and the characters and season three in my opinion just doesn't make sense at all and so in terms of the main games for me it goes season one season four season two and season three uh but season three like a new frontier in my opinion should should have never existed there isn't a single thing in season three that leads to this even if Clem can, you know, based on dialogue choices, can make references to it, there's nothing here from season three. Well, thank goodness, but still, th there isn't. Uh, so, so, yeah. Um, well, guys, this is the review for, well, Clementine's Journey, if you will. Uh, I also really enjoyed um, the side game uh, for Michonne. I really, really liked it. But yeah, like Telltale nails the voice acting, nails the visuals for the most part, nails the soundtrack. But then you get to the story, and then you get to the writing, and oof. What a mess, what a waste. Um, I really, really, really like Clem as a character. I would love if, to be honest, Clem's handicap now that she's been amputated would be either, how do you say, uh, retconned, I, th I think that's the way. Excuse me, I think that's the word for it. Um, or just get her a, a functional pros prosthetic somehow, you know? Because out of every single character throughout the entire franchise, Clem is just phenomenal. I, I really, really like her. Uh, as a character and I really don't see how you know if The Walking Dead uh, again I don't know if there are any more games these are the ones that I know of uh, whether already released or upcoming I really don't see how more games of this franchise would be successful if Clem is not in it I mean, for me, I really like Michonne, but my understanding of it is that it's just not as popular or well-liked or, you know, well-received. Maybe because it's also featuring a character from the TV show, you know, like not an original uh, character. But if there is more The Walking Dead out there, I'm really, like... It's basically Clem or get the fuck out. That's that that's pretty much it. And even with like with the AJ like getting no no let's just redo um, Clem and and Lee storyline, but this time it's Clem who's going to be um, a mother figure to to a child. I was against that and. 
like, it's still very hard to believe that that would actually work. But, you know, telltale. Telltale. Like I said, the writing... Uh-uh. It's... It's just, it's just not good. For the big majority of the franchise, it's just not good. In my opinion. Um, anyways, guys. This has been my journey. Uh, with The Walking Dead. I hope it was entertaining. I hope it was enjoyable. Um, and uh, yeah. I'll see you next game.